Welcome to Webstar Press. Splice and filter are methods that are available on arrays in JavaScript. Both are used to manipulate data inside array. Splice can be used to remove items, add items, replace items, and reorder items. This function takes an index as a parameter and removes the item at that index from array using splice method. And here is the result. This function inserts a new item at the specified index in array. The splice method is used here to add the new item without removing any existing elements. And here is the result. So ACD becomes ACZD. Originally, it was this array. It was manipulated to get this result. Then it was again manipulated to yield this result. This function replaces an existing item in array at the specified index with new item. It's doing it by using splice with a removal count of 1 and passing the new item to be added at that index. Now the item and index 2 was z that was replaced by x here. This function changes the position of an item with an array. It removes the item from specified index and then adds that item back into the array at another index. This is done using the splice method twice. First to remove the item, then to insert it at a new position. And now array has these items. So this is splice method. Filter can be used to remove items, search and filter items, conditionally render items, and manipulate data in other ways. These are all the items we have. This function removes an item from the items array based on the provided ID. It creates a new array that includes all items except for the one with the matching ID by using the filter method. Then it assigns this new array back to the items variable. So this item was removed and we have this now as a result. This function logs only those items from the items array that are marked as completed. Here filter method creates a new array completed items containing only the items where the completed property is true. And we get this result. So this is filter method. Let's compare these methods in React.js. In an example, where we have to delete a selected record from the state. Question is, when we delete a record from the state, is splice array method better and efficient or filter array method? Let's add some tasks in this to-do list. This is our to-do list. This function is receiving an argument ID from here. On click delete to-do item ID. On click of delete button, we have to delete selected record from the state. This is how we use splice method to delete an item from the state. Let's see if it works. Take small breaks, delete. It was deleted, so this method is working. In this approach, we begin by filtering out where in the list that is current to do's the item is located. If the item is found, it copies the list to avoid changing the original directly. This is a good practice in React. It then takes out the item from the copied list. After removing the item, it updates the list with this new version without the item. If the item wasn't in the list to begin with, it just keeps the list as is. So this is supplies method to delete a record from the state in React.js. If we have to do the same thing using filter method, here is how we do it. It updates the state of to-do list by removing an item with a specific ID. This is a quick way to remove an item from the list without having to find its exact position. It goes through the current to-do state, then creates a new list by keeping only those items that do not match the given ID. This filters out the item with the given ID because it's not included in the new list. It then sets this new list as the updated state for the to-do list. This code is more readable. Let's try this. So drink more water, delete. It was deleted. Go to college, delete, delete it. 
So both splice and filter methods have their own use cases, advantages and disadvantages. Splice method modifies the original array if used carelessly, which is not recommended in React as React prefers immutability. Splice may make the code more complex to understand. On the other hand, filter returns a new array and does not modify the original array, aligning with React's preference for immutability. The code is more readable here and is self-explanatory. So if you are following React best practices, filter would be more appropriate because it adheres to the principle of immutability. In terms of time complexity, both methods are generally similar for this use case. Choose the one that fits your specific requirements and makes your code more readable and maintainable. In my opinion, use filter method here because it's less complex and more readable. Okay, I hope it helped. Like, share, subscribe and I will see you in the next video.